Regular operational inspections are required as a part of an organized respiratory protection program. Scott recommends that the SCAPAC AT be inspected upon receiving the unit and shall be inspected regularly after each use or more frequently following your company policies. Note that a respirator not routinely used but kept for emergency use shall be inspected at least monthly. If damage or discrepancies are noted during the inspection of the respirator, remove the respirator from service and tag for repair by authorized personnel. With a bit of practice, inspection before use of the SCAPAC AT can be performed quickly and easily. In our demonstration here, we'll show you how to conduct your prior to use inspection of the SCAPAC AT. To start, visually inspect the respirator as a whole for completeness. Now we'll move on to the cylinder inspection. Check the cylinder's latest hydrostatic test date to make sure that it has been tested within the prescribed time according to the appropriate DOT specification. Remember, it is the responsibility of the user to ensure that all DOT requirements for the self-contained air supply cylinder on this respirator are met and maintained. Visually inspect the cylinder and valve assembly for physical damage, such as dents or gouges, in metal or in composite wrapping. Cylinders that show physical damage or exposure to high heat or flame, such as paint turned brown or black, decals charred or missing, or melted pressure gauge covers or cylinders that show evidence of exposure to chemicals such as discoloration, cracks in the cylinder or the composite wrapping, peeling of the outer layers of the composite wrapping, and or bulging of the cylinder wall, should be tagged, emptied of compressed air, and removed from service for further inspection by authorized personnel. Check the cylinder gauge for a full indication. If the cylinder pressure is less than full, replace the cylinder with a fully charged cylinder or have the cylinder charged to the full condition. Next, we'll inspect the harness. Carefully inspect the complete harness, making sure that the waist and shoulder straps are fully extended. Check the harness for worn or frayed webbing or damaged buckles or components. If damaged, the unit should be tagged out of service and returned for repair by qualified technicians. The SCAPAC AT is equipped with a unique cylinder attachment device known as the Easy Clip Cylinder Retention System. Always make sure to inspect the Easy Clip hanger bracket and the female buckle. The Easy Clip valve hanger bracket should be securely engaged in the female buckle and not lift out with normal handling. To remove the air supply cylinder from the harness, press the release tab at the bottom of the Easy Clip hanger bracket away from the cylinder valve to remove the Easy Clip valve hanger bracket from the female buckle. 